Hello and welcome to our latest briefing. This is a special briefing focusing on a long duration heat wave expected across the region later this week into early next week. My name is Christine Cruz and I'm a meteorologist for the National Weather Service's Salt Lake City Forecast Office. This briefing was created during the afternoon of June 25th and should not be used after 2 p.m. June 27th, 2013. So what exactly does a long duration heat wave mean? High pressure will build across the region over the next several days, bringing a very hot air mass to the state for an extended period of time. The forecast maximum temperatures for Salt Lake City are expected to be 102 on Friday, 102 Saturday, 102 Sunday, 101 Monday, and 100 Tuesday. For Cedar City, expect 99 Friday, 101 Saturday, 100 Sunday, 99 Monday, and 98 Tuesday. And for St. George, expect 111 Friday, 113 Saturday, 112 Sunday, 111 Monday, and 110 Tuesday. It's going to be very hot, but how unusual is this heat wave? A few Salt Lake City heat records are listed above. The current forecast would tie the longest stretch of consecutive 100 plus degree days for Salt Lake City that include any day in June. While we aren't expecting the all time record high for Salt Lake City, which is 107 to be broken, it will be close. The records for Friday through Tuesday for Salt Lake City, Cedar City, and St. George are listed above. As you can see, there is the potential for quite a few records to be broken in this stretch. With very hot temperatures, heat safety precautions need to be taken. Learn the symptoms of heat stroke and heat exhaustion. If you notice these symptoms in yourself or anyone around you, seek immediate medical attention if necessary. Check on the elderly and those with chronic medical, medical conditions, particularly if they do not have access to either air conditioning or a swamp cooler. Never leave children or pets in parked vehicles. Even leaving windows open is not enough to keep temperatures from rising to dangerous levels. Some other suggestions, slow down, dress for summer, drink plenty of non-carbonated, non-alcoholic beverages such as water, and consider postponing afternoon activities. Very hot temperatures and very dry conditions combine to increase fire danger across the state. With the 4th of July holiday approaching, remember to never use fireworks near dry grass or other flammable materials. Check with local authorities for firework restrictions in your particular area. Never park on or drive through dry grass. Avoid target shooting near dry grass and other flammable materials. And avoid being in areas where you might become trapped by a wildfire. Thank you for viewing our briefing on the extended heat wave expected across Utah later this week into next week. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at nws.saltlakecity at noaa.gov. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for attending the briefing.